First up is MyNoise.net. This website contains various ambient sounds, nature sounds and ambient music for those who like to have a specific audio environment to work in. The sounds are listed out into different categories which help to find just the sound that you're looking for. Whether it's Japanese garden sounds you want to listen to, some waterfalls or even a busy coffee shop, this website has got you covered. What can also happen sometimes is needing to cut and quickly share an mp3 file. In this case, check out mp3cut.net, which makes this easy by allowing you to upload and trim down any mp3 file for free with no subscriptions or account signups needed. You can even export the file to other formats if you really need super easily. What's also cool is the whiteboard.com website, which allows you to start a whiteboard online super quickly. Other than the various drawing tools that you can use, you can also share the link to another device, in my case another window, but you get the point. Other people can join the same whiteboard session as you. Super useful for those collaborative sessions. Now if you're a student, then omnicalculator.com is something you'll find very handy. It has a bunch of different calculators that are super useful and tailored to a variety of different subjects. I mean, they even have one for determining how many bricks or other materials you might need for a particular application. Check it out, there's quite a few interesting ones in here. What can also save time is sedger.com. This website allows you to quickly edit and modify PDFs in your browser without any sort of login or sign up. This is much better than paying for other more expensive software such as Acrobat Pro for example. Continuing on to the nounproject.com, this website is quite handy for getting your hands on some quality icons that you might want to use for some projects that you might be working on. Check it out, it's quite useful. What's even better though is unsplash.com. This website provides you with a vast high resolution royalty free photo library all for free. And the best bit is you are free to use them as you like and you don't even need to credit the author, though it is nice to do. This can really help out with any creative project you might be working on. Or, if you're anything like me, you can use it for cool wallpapers for your devices. Moving on to camelcamelcamel.com. Yes, that is indeed the name of the website. This allows you to keep track of the price history on various Amazon items. This way, you can really find out if you're getting a good deal. You can also subscribe to their email alerts to notify you if an item drops to a certain price. It's free and it's a must have if you shop on Amazon a lot. Now blush.design is a free website which helps you build and design some cool graphics and vector images. You can even modify some of the existing illustrations as well and are free for you to use for personal and commercial purposes even without the need for attribution. Another useful site is archive.org, also known as the Wayback Machine. This site is a full archive of various books, movies, software, music and most notably websites on the internet over the years. This means you can go back in time for example and see what certain websites look like on a particular date in the past. This is super cool and interesting to see, especially if you weren't even born when something was taking over the internet back then. Now what might also seem like way back ago was the start of this video because those are 10 useful websites all covered. Hope you found this condensed video valuable and share if you think someone else might. Anyway, like, subscribe and thank you for watching.